welcome to Math with Jen. There are three properties that you can keep in mind when multiplying. The first one is called commutative property. Commutative property this means that you can put the factors in any order. So if I'm doing 5 times 60, I can leave it like this. I can say, okay, I'm going to do 5 times 60, or I could do 60 times 5. And I could write it like this, 60 times 5. Okay, either way is correct. A lot of times it's easier to multiply if you put the smaller number as the multiplier. You can do 5 times 0 once, which is 0. 5 times 6 is 30. So either way, you're going to get that 300. But it's easier when you put the smaller number as the multiplier. That's the commutative property. Distributive property, when you take multiplier and you distribute it to add-ins of that number that you're multiplying by. If we had 53 times 8, I could break up the 50 and the 3 into as many parts as I want. I'm just going to break it up into 50 and 3. For two add-ins, 50 plus 3 is 53. You can multiply those both by 8. Okay, and a lot of times it's written like this, the distributive property. I'm going to take that 8 and I'm going to multiply it by the 50. I'm going to take that 8 and multiply it to the 3 and then add those together. Okay, that's the distributive property. I'm going to take the multiplier and I'm going to distribute it to both of those add-ins that I broke the 53 up into. So 50 times 8 is 400. 3 times 8 is 24. 400 plus 24 is 424. 8 times 3 is 24, so I'm going to put down the 4, carry the 20. 8 times 50 is 400, plus the 20 that I carried over is 420, so I'm going to also carry over the 4 for the 400, and that's going to be the 424. Okay, so distributed property can also be used in multiplication. Associated property just means that you can multiply in any order that you want, and you can get the same answer. Let's say you were given the problem 4 times 6 times 5. Multiply it in this order if I want. I could do 4 times 6 is 24 times 5. Or I could come over here and say, well, you know what? I'd rather do 4 times 5 first and then times 6. So 4 times 5 is 20 times 6. Okay, over here, if I multiply these two together, 24 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry the 20. 5 times 20 is 100 plus the 2, 120. If I come over here, 20 times 6. 6 times 0, 1 is 0. 6 times 20 is 120. In this video, we talked about the distributive property, the associative property, and the commutative property in regards to multiplication. I thank you so much for joining me in this video, and I hope you learned something new. See you next time. Bye.